I think the reason why I wanted to become an artist in my own right was I felt that I wasn't getting the opportunity to really truly do the type of performance I wanted to do anymore and for me that it was very restrictive. <laughs> I started off in music and I, was, I did music for, I was in a band for about 12 years. My diversity and interests had grown to the point where I, wasn't, I couldn't be happy working with just one medium any longer and the medium I was using predominantly was songwriting and performing on stage with a band. And in my eyes I wanted to start bringing more performance art into that but the problem of course with any band is that you tend to have to compromise. I was already working away with ideas for films, particularly to start with, and painting was something I hadn't really considered a great deal. I just want him to fix the problem without having to face it ourselves. Here's a good one for you. That paranoia of when you're outside and you just feel that you're not like everyone else, you know, and, and you feel as if everyone's looking at you and they're probably looking at, them, at something in you that they can't see in themselves. You have lost your ability to envisage a happy ending. Another moment of the bland, unsatisfying routine that you stick to, to avoid these voices on the stairs. I make artist films, although I don't think of them as artist films, and I guess the only real difference is the budgets involved often, and people's interpretation of it, that they decide that it's an artist film or that it's an indie film, and it's not a film. I like using mannequins because they're, well they kind of do what I want, for whatever reason. Although they're not very flexible, and I bought this particular mannequin because I wanted to make a, fi a film called First Date, which I filmed last year, last summer. And um, the idea was, in the, with the First Date film, I, I had, the idea was, I was it was going to be a whole series, and in that series there was going to be paintings in a film, maybe two films. There's another film I'm, I'm sort of planning out at the moment, and it was really the idea is of the emotions and the overspill of, of the hopes and dreams that can be spilled into a first date. Ready? Yep. the French cinema from the 1960s, the New Wave cinema. Jean-Luc Godard, I think, is a fantastic filmmaker and he's made some phenomenal films.
I would say the largest art influences on me as an artist would be Marina Abramovich, Anna Mandietta, and Myra Schendel. Uh, for different reasons, purely based on the effect that their work has on me when I see or feel their work. And I wouldn't say that it necessarily leans towards one type of aesthetic other than it, I go more on feeling than I do sometimes on visual as, as to why something affects me. Okay, I'll explain this to you. I'm going to tell you who you really are and how you really feel. You're going to tell me who I really am? <laughs>